In this Lords of the Fallen video, I'll be going over one of my personal favourite rings in the game. If you want to be able to cast Radiant spells with any catalyst, perfect for those hybrid builds, then this is going to be the perfect video for you. You're going to need to start off at this vestige point here, the vestige of the Pal Butcher, and then you're just going to make your way a little ways forward, and then you're going to want to travel into Umbral. From here, it's going to be quite straightforward, you're just going to go up this path, and then just keep making your way through. Because you're in Umbral, you're able to get through all of the gates, you don't have to worry too much about those stopping you. Do be aware there are a whole host of baddies within this area that can absolutely decimate your health, so you may want to be a little bit careful. Keep making your way forward. And then just on the right there, you're going to want to pick this up as you go, as that's a nice another Radiant spell. And then just keep running until you make it to Fitzroy's Gorge. At this point, there'll be a few people trying to take you out of range, and a few more of those dogs. And do not do what I did by almost jumping off when I was trying to pick up some items. There are a few other things that I didn't pick up on the way as well, so you probably want to come back here at some point and check things out at your own pace. But just keep making your way through here, and at this stage I would say be careful of what you're collecting because there are a few of those butterflies that pretend to be loot and then completely decimate your health. Instead, at the point here we can jump out of Umbral, just facing it is going to be the item you're after, this ring just here, the Ring of Radiant Preeminence. Honestly, I think this works in a lot of builds, great for hybrid builds, perfect for anyone who just wants a little bit of healing about himself from some of the spells, or really enjoys using some of the Radiant spells in general, but maybe hasn't specced into them quite as much. But yeah, after this, you could use whatever you're specced into, whether it be Umbral, whether it be Inferno, and also, of course, chuck on some Radiant spells, but make sure you have enough Radiance in order to actually activate them. Ultimately, I found this can work perfect in a lot of builds. It can make you very powerful if you want to do a bit more damage, because things like that stack quite well, or if you're after a bit of hardiness and you want to become very tanky, then you can also stack a few of these buffs as well. But ultimately, you can see I'm taking a kick in and, and keep on licking. Yeah, hopefully that's helped a few of you guys and girls out. There'll be a lot more content from me. As always, for Things Gaming, take care. I'll see you on the next day.